Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Man, do we have a very, very, very exciting vlog for you today. As you guys can see on the title, we have a world's first, another world's first. This year for us has been such a freaking awesome experience so far because we've been killing it with some crazy combos. And as you guys know, when I was talking about the last vlog, that we did a lot of head to visual pairings. And now, as that gives us, you know, less odds to make, you know, some crazier, uh, like, uh, visual clowns, it still gives us a better chance to make, you know, something new out there, you know, by running the head to visuals. And you guys know I'm super clown heavy here. And finally, after three clutches, this is the third clutch of Wookie that I finally hit my first Wookie visual clown. And better yet, it's a massive powerhouse and it's a world's first. And not only that, I hit two of them and both of them are males. As you guys know, we have our Patreon and that's where all the animals get listed first. And whatever you put into that saving, you can use it towards a snake. Now, these snakes are gonna be going on there on Patreon. If you guys, uh, I know last time I said I was gonna put my information down in the description down below, but I didn't. But right now, it is, and it's down there, it's down there. You guys go check it out. So guys, before we get to this awesome clutch, let me give you guys a quick little snake peek. Look at this, man. Honestly, one of the prettiest freaking clutches we have made, and I am honestly super, super excited about it. So, I've been talking to John from Morph Market. You know, there's so much cool things coming up this season, well, this year, that's gonna just make you know, the whole reptile industry a lot better, and a lot, you know, and make it real fun for us, you know, as, you know, hobbyists, you know, uh, breeders, uh, um, business, breeder, people uh, you know and the cool things that there's there's a couple of things that you guys probably already know about but I didn't even know about starting with Morphpedia you know um, I sent me I wrote a couple little notes down there just because you know not really good with you know off the top of the head now Morphpedia you know is a definitive a definitive resource on the web to learn about reptiles morphs and localities and guys, trust me, you could go on there and check it out. It's freaking awesome. Also, it was launched about a year ago with 50 ball python articles, and now it has over 500 articles covering over 20 types of reptiles. Insane, right? And honestly, what makes Morphidia different is that it's, a, it's continually updated with community feedback and kept accurate with expert moderation. Now, guys, man, when, when I was talking to John the other day about it, I was seriously blown away. I still can't believe I didn't even know about it. Um, here's a quick little video just so you guys kind of see it and go check it out. Because if you guys, I mean, if I didn't know about it, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys that didn't know about it as well. But uh, check this out. Hey, guys, this is John from Morph Market. Today, we're launching a project that my team and I have been dreaming about for years. It's called Morphpedia, and it's a community-driven knowledge base of herb traits. In this video, I'll give an overview, and in the next video, I'll show how you can be involved. You can find Morphpedia on the Morph Market website, or just by typing in morphpedia.com. From here, we can choose the category we're interested in. Morphpedia provides a powerful interface for searching, sorting, and filtering traits. For example, let's filter to incomplete dominant. Let's sort by traits most recently proven. Pixel sounds interesting. Each trait has an article which includes descriptive photos, key facts, history, details and appearance, related traits and combos, and of course, references. Because Morphpedia isn't the end of your learning, it's just the beginning. Crazy, right? That is so freaking cool. And that's just one thing that John and his team at Morph Market that are working on right now, I heard there's some crazy stuff coming up this year, man, that I'm really, really excited about. And being, and I'm also happy to be a part about it too. So guys, back to this. Um, Let's start off with the female and the male real quick. Um, this male was actually sold to me from Jessica Velka. The cool thing about buying stuff from Justin, come here real quick. You guys know that snake, I always go back to this thing just cause you know, it's, it's such a, a lottery snake for us, is right here is our leopard pinstripe desert ghost. That's what she was sold to me as, right? And then you remember uh, I put an ODYB into GeneX Pi to it and it proved out to be het pied, which just completely, you know, um, advanced our, you know, our project with the DG Pied stuff, and I was super happy about that. So he sold me another mail that proved out to be something else. It's really, really cool. So back to this combo here real quick, this clutch. So here's a female that we use. Right here we have a bongo clown. Look at this girl right here. Beautiful, beautiful girl. It's so cool, she just got back on feed. And then let me bring out this boy right here. Oh, here we go, oh, he's in shed. So look at him, look at him. Big, big dude. So right here, I bought him as an ivory spot nose Wookiee head clown. Proven, proven. Now, Justin had told me that, 
you know, there's possible redhead, but I mean red stripe, but you know, after a couple of clutches that he had made for him, he didn't prove it out or anything. Well, guess what guys, I did, and he's mine. And I got him for a good deal, and he has an extra gene. So that guy right there is proven now. Ivory, Wookie, Spot Nose, Red Stripe Head Clown. And guys, man, it's so, this clutch is freaking insane. I cannot wait to show you guys this clutch. Um, you know, it being Wookie and Spot Nose, Alelic, you know, so everything here has to either have um, Wookie or Spot Nose. And let me, let's start off with this. And even the hats are so freaking insane. We'll start off with the most, you know, mediocre one, which is missing. Oh my gosh. All right. So right here we have a, so everything's going to be yellow belly. Everything's going to be yellow belly. And you know, one has to have bongo or it's going to have spot nose. It can't have both. So right here, we know that it has it. We know that it's a bongo yellow belly head clown. Look at this. How cool is this? And you know, the cool thing is I haven't even, I only sexed the other ones. Cool. Nice little male right here. So cool, right? Awesome. So next we have something similar to this, but it has red stripe in it. So again, we have Wookie yellow belly red stripe. And the cool thing about these combos, man, it's like, you know, having a good friend like Justin, he goes back and checks some of the things out. It's like, oh man, this has this, this has that. And you could obviously see that it has red stripe. You can see the difference on it. We obviously know it does not have bongo. And the reason why we know that is because we hit this bad boy right here. Bongo Wookie Yellow Belly. Look at that, guys. How freaking insane is that? So right here we have a Wookie Yellow Belly Head Clown. Wookie Red Stripe uh, Yellow Belly Head Clown. Then we have a Bongo Wookie uh, Yellow Belly Head Clown. How freaking insane is that, right? These three right here, I mean, dude, we killed it, man. And these are just hats. Let's check out the sex on these bad boys. And so it's a female, 1.1. This right here is a nice snake. Ooh, another female. All right, so let's put these back here. And check this out, man. This, before we get to the visuals. Oh, shoot, we still have another one. This is the one I forgot. So right here, we have a bongo spot nose yellow belly head clown look at this how pretty is that that is so freaking cool and let's see the sex on this and this right here is a male nice powerhouse male right here man beautiful beautiful snake now this next hat right here i actually put on my youtube star just because I felt, dude, I thought it was really, really pretty. It has like this red on the on the side of its neck. It looks really, really cool. And right here we have just a spot nose, yellow belly, red stripe head clown. But you see like the orangey red on it? Look how pretty that is. Could you see a turtle? Mm-hmm. Look at that. How cool is that? And it's a female. Wow. So the reason why we know this thing proved out to be a uh, um, red stripe, I'll show you guys right now, is because of this bad boy. I hit so many of these, and these snakes do not last whatsoever, man. But when I saw this, I was like, hey, just remember that snake, you know, you know, you sent me, blah, blah, blah. I think it proved out red stripe. He goes, well, I had a couple of clutches on it, you know. He goes, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, check this, check this out. And I showed him. He's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So that's when we determined, you know, because I've made a lot of these right here. And right here we have the infamous spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown. Look at that, man. How freaking beautiful is that? I remember when I bought my mail three years ago. It was one of the most expensive mails I had purchased. And this guy has made me so much crazy stuff. He's made me uh, some Stranger Pompeys. He's made me some Pompey uh, Hypos. I mean, he's made me some crazy stuff. And now it's like I've made a lot of these. So when I saw this, I was like, man, that is so freaking cool. So this is one of the visual clowns. Now let's get to the powerhouse stuff, man, that I still can't believe that we hit. When I saw these, it was so funny. When we were cutting the eggs, I was like, man, dude, I just wanted to see how Bongo and Wookie would react, you know? Bongo obviously, you know, blushes out the head big time, you know? And when I saw these come out of the uh, the egg, one of them, I was like, 
dude, this has to be a Wookiee because, you know, Wookiee spot nose. It has to, you know, it has to have either one. And no, it didn't have spot nose in it. So I saw it and it came out and I was like, holy hell, dude. I send it with Justin because Justin made a lot of Wookiee yellow bellies, Wookiee, all sorts of uh, Wookiee combos. He's like, dude, that's it. And then they both have red stripe. And like I said, not only did we hit one, but we hit two. Check this out, guys. Look at that world's first right here. How amazing is that? Bongo, Wookiee, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Clown. And like I said, not just one, but two. Look how beautiful these freaking snakes are, man. Talk about Powerhouse. And the crazy thing is, it was like, I, I sexed it right away when it came out and I was like, damn, dude, I hope it's a male. If it's a male, I am keeping it back. You know, how could you not keep that back, dude? I mean, seriously, Wookie, Bongo, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly. Dude, talk about a powerhouse, man. And so, you know, I kept them back and then the other one popped out and I was like, holy hell. And it turned out to be a male. So this male right here, you know, dude, one of a kind. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be hitting any of these anytime soon. This will also be going up on Morph Market as well. Dude, two worlds first, man. Just like that, man. The odds are seriously have been in our favor like crazy. And I'm super, super happy to, you know, super happy and super excited to share this stuff with you. Again, guys, um, go check out Morph, uh, Morphpedia. It's so cool. All this stuff is coming out. And next uh, vlog that we're doing is going to be even crazier, guys. As always, we appreciate all of the support. Until next time. Peace. Thank you.